Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Grossen, President and CEO of Sano Global Nutrition. If I asked you, what is the number one deficiency worldwide, what would you say? Some would say vitamin C, they'd be wrong. And some would say vitamin D, and they'd be almost right. But the true major deficiency worldwide is iodine. Yeah, I know. Now, if you were raised in the 50s and 60s, maybe even the 70s, if you got a cut or a scrape, sometimes your parents would put iodine on it. And it would burn a little bit. And that's what I thought. I thought, when I was younger, you mean I got to have iodine inside too? So, certain salt companies iodized their salt. Now, the problem with that was, it was iodide and you need a balance of iodide and iodine both of them both molecules well we were getting it in our bread but iodine got to be a little expensive and so they replaced it with bromide now, bromide works except it's toxic so I wish they put iodine back, but that would raise the cost of bread. I don't eat that much bread anyway, so go ahead and do it. Iodine is vitally important to everyone. So where do we get it? Well, if you follow the Japanese, they have the answer. They don't require iodine supplementation. Why? They eat from the largest free garden in the world, the oceans. They eat a lot of seaweed, a lot of seafood as well, but seaweed in particular is loaded with iodine and iodide. It's almost like nature understood that that was a food source that we needed. Only we, we don't use it. I don't know why. So, what does it do? Interesting. Potassium iodide is what we use to protect the thyroid gland from radiation poisoning, radiation sickness, and the development of certain types of cancers, particularly thyroid cancer. Maybe that's why the Japanese have done so well, considering their exposure to different forms of radiation through the many years. Their diet may be saving their lives. For the rest of us, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble because iodine is vitally important for what? Metabolism. Do you think we have an obesity problem in this country? Not just here. Look at Europe. Look at parts of Asia and Southeast Asia. You know, obesity has become a worldwide problem. And part of it is metabolism. Of course, the largest part of it is lifestyle, right? We make bad choices, we eat bad food. But iodine is almost vital. In fact, it is vital to the function of the thyroid. How many people do you know off the top of your head are taking thyroid medication? I bet you can name 10 people if you thought about it. Well, my problem with that has always been medication replaces the function of the thyroid by putting synthetic thyroxine into the system. So now the thyroid doesn't have to work at all. Well, if you have a system that doesn't work at all, what does it do? It atrophies, so the condition gets worse. Doesn't it make better sense to give the body something to support a failing system? To give the thyroid what it needs to naturally produce thyroxine? Yeah, it makes sense to me. Now, there are lots of products out there that have iodine, iodide and some of it is still synthetic and the balance is not there. 
And so they're partially functional, but they don't work really well for all people. And so I wanted to develop a product that was capable of increasing thyroid function without replacing thyroid functioning. Makes sense? So, thyrogenesis. Thyrogenesis is 100% plant-based, iodine and iodide, but we also use L-tyrosine to balance the T3, T4 conversion. What does that mean? That means you produce, the thyroid produces more thyroxine on demand. It helps the thyroid become more efficient. What does that do? Well, it's more than just metabolism, although that's a big part of it, isn't it? But it also has to do with the immune system. It has to do with bone health. It has to do with muscle and tendon strength. It has to do with skin, eyes, hair, nails. Anything that has to do with regenerative properties of tissues that are grown and replaced on a regular basis. In a sense, general metabolism, right? That's what this product stimulates. Is it toxic in any way? No, not at all. If you took too much, your body would just dispel the amount of iodine and iodide that was presented. And thyroxine is an amino acid, and therefore if you have too much of an amino acid, what does it do? Well, it increases kidney function, and you eliminate it the next time you go to the bathroom, or the byproducts thereof. For people who have metabolic disorders, metabolic syndrome, syndrome X, um, hypertension, inflammatory bowel disease, hypothyroidism, there are a lot of people who've been misdiagnosed. The only thing they really need is to balance their iodine and iodide within their system. So do you think there's a few million people in the United States that need this? Maybe tens of millions. So how do we get this into their hands? Well, it starts with you. If you think you have a metabolic challenge, if you feel your hair is getting brittle, if you feel like your energy is run down, if you're having trouble dropping that last 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pounds, whatever it is, why don't you give this a try? It can't hurt you, it can only help you. And then after it helps you, I'll bet you'll tell 10 people, maybe 15 people, maybe more, how well this is working for you. If you do that, you're gonna be saving a lot of people a lot of grief. We're very proud of this product. We know that it works. We've seen it work on so many people. And we want it to work for you. Thanks for dropping by. I hope to talk again. And if you have questions, please drop by and talk to us. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.